Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab, we will learn how to perform Wi-Fi or wireless hacking. Now, Wi-Fi hacking is another useful skill to have, especially if you're working on site or internally. You'll be needing a wireless adapter that supports monitor mode for this lab. I have Alpha AWUS 1900 or 1900, and it works fine. Most, if not all, Alpha cards should do the trick. The tool we will be using is called Aircrack NG, and we only need Kel Linux in a virtual machine for this lab. Now, back when I started studying to become an ethical hacker, every course included WEP, which stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy, and how to hack it. However, because it's severely outdated and practically non-existent in the real world, which extends to the fact that I do not have a router that supports it, we're only going to look at WPA or VPA hacking. We'll be using a suite called Aircrack NG, which includes several tools. The first of many is going to be, well, the first of many is going to be apt update. So we want to make sure that we have the latest version of this tool on our machine. So let this run. And then we want to install these two things. Now they're the latest version for me. And next we want to ensure that we indeed have a wireless interface on our machine. So with that out of the way, we run the following commands. Airmon dash ng check kill and then we want to start the monitor mode of course you'll have to substitute the final argument in the last command with the name of your own wireless interface so you see in ifconfig mine is called wlan0 so that's why i typed wlan0 here next we want to look at what wireless access points or ap's are around us so we run the following command i'm going to do that in a separate window after identifying the target ap we want to focus our attention so the first one is my own wireless so we're going to attack that one and we do that with this following command so dash dash bssid is literally this value over here and then c stands for channel which here it is 11 and then w means write the results into this file okay and finally we have wlan0 which is the name of the interface so we press enter and now no matter what it's only going to show the results for this access point now you can sit and wait for a device to connect to the target, or you can force any connected devices to reconnect. Now the point behind this is that we are trying to capture the handshake between a device and the AP. To force a reconnect of already connected devices, we will perform a deauthentication attack using another part of the aircrack-ng suite. So we see here that there are four devices connected. These are the devices connected to this access point. So in this new tab, we're going to try and deauthenticate them. So the parameters here are MAC address of the access point, dash B, okay. And then for replay options, we are setting MAC address to this. Then we want dash zero, which is the, the authentication attack, as you can see right here. And we want to perform this attack five times on this interface. Now I'm gonna press enter and head over here. And very quickly, you should see the result pop up here. And there you go, very, very quickly. Okay, so we can stop this. We don't need it anymore. This stopped on its own after five attempts. Finally, we can try to crack the password using the eponymous aircrack-ng. So aircrack-ng is the name of the suite. When you install it, as you've seen in our initial commands here, it's called just aircrack-ng, but we run airmon right here. We ran aerodump right here, and we've used a replay. And finally, we're going to use exactly aircrack-ng. Now, we want to crack this, but first you see the files here, right? The capture files from our Wi-Fi session right here. So we want to perform this aircrack ng on one of these files. We want the dot cap file. So I will just have to change the value to one. And now I'm using this word list because it's very short. I just want to demonstrate how this works. L Wi-Fi result, if it finds a password, it's going to write it into a new file called Wi-Fi result. This is again the MAC address of the access point, And this is a type of attack. It stands for WPA. So if we go right over here, dash dash help, and we see that dash A serves to force an attack mode. And if we supply number two, it's going to be WPA, which is exactly what we want because my access point is a WPA, which you can see right here. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's press enter. And there are no results because I use a very strong password for my Wi-Fi and it's 
highly unlikely that it's going to be in any dictionary file that you find anywhere on the internet. A strong password has at least eight characters and contains lower and uppercase letters as well as numbers and special characters and symbols. Of course, it cannot be found in any of the popular dictionaries that ethical hackers use, such as rocky.txt, for example, or anything in the sect lists bundle of word lists. So you can use even a phrase, something long, something like 20 characters or something like that. It's very difficult to crack, if not impossible. Now, there are other tools you can use for this, such as Wi-Fi and Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. So you should familiarize yourselves with them as well. In addition to that, if you can find a web encrypted access point, that would be excellent exercise and one that won't take too much time because it's actually easier to do than WPA. The fact that web is easier to crack is why it's no longer being used. And that brings us to the end of this lab. 